Ah, uh, today I woke up to an apparent new trailer that the FF17 posted, and also I woke up to a video of Cloud screaming, Diva! Cody Christian not caring on Twitter, Cloud's voice actor, by the way, which is the greatest thing. But more on that later. Now I'm going to react to the newest trailer. Sephiroth. Oh no, not the Nibelheim incident. What happened to this place? It was Sephiroth. It can't be. He wants to finish what he started and rule over the planet. You coming? Way ahead of ya! you. We have to help them. Let's get to work. You are truly a model soldier. Diva! Diva! We can handle this. I will reclaim our world. All right, so I'm thinking that that was the Please final so. trailer that we just watched. Um, I didn't see any news about it, but that could just be me being out of the loop. I'm very curious about that scene where Cloud's yelling Tifa, because I'm trying to remember where that would take place before the Forgotten City. It looked like a weapon of some sort. Maybe they changed the order of things around, but I don't see how they could or would. Hmm. Okay, and now let me address something really quickly. Okay, so basically, Cody Christian, uh, an hour ago, he reposted a fan art that someone made, and this is what it looks like, where Cloud, where there's a comparison between Cloud yelling, Barret, Aerith, and then when it's Tifa, Cloud is on his hands and knees, basically. And oh, the replies did not disappoint. One person... <laughs> I guess didn't really like what Cody had to say, even though he's Cloud's official voice actor, and, and they said, Are you trying to start a war in your comments? Because I've seen enough of the shipping wars already, and they're bad. Real bad. And then Cody says, Everyone is allowed their opinions. And this person replies, Just heed this warning, my friend, and posts a meme that isn't really funny. And then Cody goes, Teen Wolf, ga Teen Wolf Days gave me tough skin, Bubba. And here's another reply that I, that understandably Cody is leaving a person because they're getting a little heated. He said, I appreciate you for real. Here's the issue. Shippers crumble under the idea that a character is allowed to have significant relationships with multiple characters. This provides overarching depth. The need to overtly sexualize every relationship can ruin great story development. And it's true. I mean, there's nothing wrong with shipping. Ship who you want. I am a Huge fan of Cloud and Tifa, have been since I was 11, and that is no secret to those that know me. But it also happens to be what uh, is officially part of the narrative. You know, Aerith dies, and Cloud ends up finding his true self because of Tifa, and they mutually confirm their fe feelings under the high wind in disc 3 of the original game. This person didn't like that reply and said, It's a fact that you're essentially telling the fan base that Cloud cares more about Tifa than Aerith, when you know that coming from you, will cause a great deal of arguments among fans. We all assume you know it, Cloud well. It makes me sad because Aerith is my beloved. Here's the thing, Cloud does care about Aerith. To Cloud, Aerith was one of his best friends who he could not save from tragedy. And then Zack was also one of his best friends that died in tragedy protecting him. There's this sense of loss and grief that Cloud is always dealing with, which is such an important part of his character. Aerith didn't have to be a romantic connection for Cloud for this to occur, for her to have such a big effect on him. And it's, I know it's such a huge misconception that people have had over the years. And again, you can ship who you want, but this guy is Cloud's official voice actor. He's even said that between Aerith and Tifa, he would choose Tifa. Same goes for Sakurai Takahiro. You know, years ago when he was promoting Advent Children, he said, and I quote, I'm more of a Tifa man myself. So what can you really do with that? Coming from the official voice actor who spends literally hours in the booth giving the director what the director wants coming from Cloud knowing the intention behind those words that he's emoting. It's very important to have that background and that 
nuance and that knowledge of the character. And Cody has it because he's Cloud. That's all. I just wanted to say something because, well, I try not to commentate on this, but it's old news by now. Rebirth is going to be amazing. Aerith, I think as a character, they're going to really send her off in a neat way. For someone that didn't really like Aerith growing up and who didn't, who wasn't really thrilled by how she was written uh, in regards to her character and in regards to how she flirted with Cloud, I think she's a very sympathetic character now, especially when you know the backstory of, you know, her still yearning for Zack, who she never got closure on. So I think Rebirth will definitely be a great send-off for Aerith. At the same time, we're going to see a lot of new scenes for Cloud and Tifa that they're going to add in. And of course, pre-existing scenes that we're all familiar with as well. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the Tana Greeknose channel. Leave me a like, perhaps. Leave me a comment. Agree or disagree? Are you excited for Rebirth? Do you agree or disagree with Cloud's official VA uh, with what I'm saying? And I look out for the rest of my videos. I am definitely going to stream Rebirth when I get my hands on it. See ya.